Hi, my name is Paul Sargent. Welcome once again to AP Euro Bit by Bit, a series in which I'm trying to break down European history, modern European history, into small pieces so that you can better understand it. Today's question, what was the printing press? And more important, what was the impact of the printing press? Let's take a look. Now, in order to understand why the printing press was so important, we have to look back as to how books were created prior to the printing press. For a long time through the Middle Ages, scribes such as these right here were going through and hand transcribing texts, mostly the Bible. This took a very long time and it was very labor intensive. They would work from morning until night and sometimes get through one page in one day. The beauty of it, though, is what became known as illuminated manuscripts. Manuscripts and writings that these monks would uh, sort of decorate with different pictures and decorations and things like that. Some biblical, some not biblical. In fact, a lot of the depictions we have of life in the Middle Ages become from these particular texts. Now, beginning in the 12th century, and some would say earlier in China, we start to see the development of uniquely carved blocks of text. They're hand carved pieces of wood would put ink on and then that ink would be used to produce numerous copies of that same thing. The big break comes between about 1445 and 1450 when the invention of movable type, in other words metal pieces which have letters on them which can be rearranged to make different words in different sentences in different lines because what it does is it makes them reusable and they can be used over and over and over and over to make different types and different totals of texts and those texts can be recreated many, many, many times. The very first example of a printed book was the Gutenberg Bible and it's named after this guy, Johann Gutenberg, who we attribute in the West with the invention of modern printing and it's going to totally change the way that books are written and the way that books are disseminated and the way that ideas flow throughout Europe and eventually throughout the world up until the modern day. In fact, you could probably say that Gutenberg was the single person most responsible for the information revolution of the Renaissance. This is the very first printing press, at least as a picture of it. And it's the printing press that made this huge difference in how the world saw humanism and the humanist ideas. Because the printing press made all of these books so cheap and so available, unlike they'd ever been before. Now you want to talk about spread of technology? Here's the crazy thing. So Gutenberg's Bible is published between 1455 and 1456. By 1500, printing presses had swarmed throughout Europe. They, there were about 40,000 individual titles which had been produced and between 8 and 10 million copies of books had been made. That's over the course of about 45 years since the very first one. That's an incredible spread of ideas. So what were the impacts? Well, very first we have to say that the printing press led to an increased demand for education. As more books were being printed, they were more available to people and therefore there were more people who wanted to be able to read because reading was essential to, well, get access to these books and these ideas. So there's a huge demand for education. And that education, if you go back to an earlier episode, was largely writ run by Renaissance humanists. It focused on ideas of the classics. So now the printing press also helped scholars throughout Europe. It helped scholars, first of all, by giving them access to more information that they could use for their studies. Now they didn't have to go and scour through individual monasteries looking for the one copy that was in existence in Europe of a particular book. But the printing press also allowed scholars to collaborate because works could be shared and works could be worked upon um, through this process. So the ideas began to develop at a faster rate and spread at a faster rate. Wow, as if that isn't enough, there's more. And writers want to write things in what's called the vernacular. Those are the local and what will become the national languages of European uh, societies. And so writers start to develop writing in the vernacular. They stop writing in Latin so much, which had been the, the language of the Middle Ages, and started writing in things like what would become Italian and English and French 
and Spanish and German. That's a big change because now people get access books in their own language and didn't have to learn Latin in order to be able to read. Now, not to go too far off on this, but do please understand that the development of vernacular and the development of a single form of each language becoming the written form of that language in England, the English written by Chaucer, in Italy, the Italian written by Dante, um, and in German, the German used by Martin Luther, those would create national languages and also would create a sense of national identity among people who spoke and read those languages and wrote in those languages. Amazing what a printing press can do. Now there's one more effect of the printing press that we really have to emphasize here. And it has to do with the dissemination of religious knowledge. Bibles became more accessible to people. And as more people read the Bible, scholars thought it would be good to go back and try and translate the Bible from its earliest known language of Greek. So they went back to the Greek manuscripts and retranslated the Bible into vernacular languages, making it more accessible to people. As people began to read more of the Bible themselves, they began to question the teachings of the Catholic Church, which seemed to be, uh, let's say, not always completely in line with what the Bible said, but had been doctrine of the Church for centuries. Those people would become the Protestant Reformers. And the Protestant Reformation, started by Martin Luther in 1517, when he nailed his 95 theses to the door of the church in Wittenberg, becomes the big movement that drives the printing press's popularity. Because the pamphlets being written by these reformers, the ideas changing religion, they're going to be sent throughout Europe. And their popularity will expand and spread. But more on that when we get to the Protestant Reformation understand the role of the printing press. So as I hope you can see here, the printing press made a huge difference in the life of Europeans. Not only did it give access to books to scholars, but it also promoted education, it promoted the formation of new languages and national languages, which would drive national cultures to, do, to uh, form. It also uh, created collaboration among, among scholars it gave access to more and more books, creating more and more demand for uh, the ability to read those books. And it's probably the biggest factor in the spread of the Protestant Reformation. All of this because one guy in Germany figured out how to make movable type. It almost blows the mind, doesn't it? Thanks, Johann Gutenberg. So I hope that helps you understand the impact of the printing press on the world of the 15th century and it going into the 16th century. That's my goal here. And uh, I hope these videos are helping. So once again, this is AP Euro Bit by Bit. My name's Paul Sargent. Thanks for watching. And please be sure to subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I post new videos.